All right, welcome back everyone. Now we can talk about the cabling standards, all right, that we use. All right, so we use basically two standards, 568A and 568B. EIA, TIA, 568A, and 568B. Now normally we use the B side. Let me stand over here so you guys can see it better. All right, you can see this is the B, all right, meaning you have a Category 5 or Category 6 uh, cable uh, that you're going to use, twisted pair, right? Unshielded twisted pair, shielded twisted pair, screen shielded twisted pair, whatever twisted pair cable you're going to use, which nobody uses shielded twisted pair. Well, I won't say nobody. There may be some people that may use it, but the majority of everybody uses unshielded twisted pair because they don't want to pay the cost of the others, right? And then we create these cables ourselves. Now, we use the B standard, and, this is a, and before I, we get into the color code, there is a reason for standards, ladies and gentlemen. Do not create your own standard. Just because you have the same color code on both sides doesn't mean that it's going to work. If you don't follow the standards, and I've seen this firsthand in certain industries that I'm not going to mention, okay, that they did their own standard, but when the length of the cable became longer, they were running into issues. Even when the length of the cable was not as long, you still had a lot of CRC errors. All right, so the, that particular part of the LAN, we'll call it, always had issues. So there's a reason that they're standards and we must follow these standards. And if you have done any kind of cabling, you know that once you cable, you cannot just say, okay, thank you very much, give my money, I'm out of here. It's pretty much the inspector needs to come by and then you need to make sure, hey, is he running 90 degrees? Does he have J-hooks running off the roof? You know, you got to have everything run correctly. This is low voltage. Now, you know, it's got to be separate from high voltage. So all these different things need to happen, okay, before, you know, not before, but while you're cabling. Now, are you going to be asked this on the CCNA? No, you're not. All right, but you will be asked the standards. Now here, the 568B standard. Now, the book teaches you from left to right. You have orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. I didn't learn it that way. By now, the majority of you know me, and you know I'm just not the same as everybody else. Okay, I learned it the other way. And I think, I, I don't know if some of you, if I put out videos on cabling or not, I learned the brown, brown, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, orange, orange, white. And there's a reason for that. All right? Somebody came to me a long time ago, and it, I, I said, hey, that makes sense. I'm going to keep that. I like that. I'm going to use that. All right? Brown. What does brown represent? Dirt. For the first came the dirt. What comes after the dirt? Grass. What's after the grass? The sky. But then the grass is greener on the other side. And then comes the sun. So that's how I remember it. Okay, now my first cabling job ever, what did I do? I went to the wall plate that the company had. I looked at their connectors and saw what standard they were using. Well, I built the same thing, right, on, uh, on a jack that I had, and then I just wrapped around my tool belt. And after, I don't know, 15, 20, 30, 100 times, then that becomes, you know, second nature in building these cables. So until you actually do it, you know, a million times that you actually dream about it, then, you know, it becomes second nature. But you need to follow these standards. So if you have the same standard, B standard on both sides, you have a straight through cable. You have a patch cable, if you want to call it. But that is a straight through cable. And what is, what's so big about the straight through cable? Well, is it what you used to connect to? You can connect a PC to a switch, a PC to a hub, okay, a switch to a router. Dissimilar, dissimilar devices, all right? Also, if you had a 568A standard on both sides, that is also a straight through cable. But again, that means everybody in your network or every connector or wall jack, whatever, has to be running that A standard. You can combine both. So if it's if you're gonna run 568A, then you must follow their standard, which is 
different than the B standard. You have the brown, then you have the orange, then you have the blue, and you end up with the green white. Okay? So if it's the same on both sides, AA, straight through. BB, straight through. Connect the same, those devices that I just told you. PC to switch, PC to hub, all right? Switch to router. Dissimilar devices. These are the things you need to keep in mind because when you're going to be tested, this is how you'll be tested. They will give you a color code and then they will ask you which, based on the type of cable that you see there in front of you, what devices could be connected with this type of cable. That's as hard as it's going to get when it comes to cabling. Now, we also use what's called a crossover cable. Crossover cables have different standards on either side. Different standards on either side. Crossover cables are to connect similar devices. Router to router, switch to switch, hub to hub, PC to PC. Here's where it gets kind of funny. PC to router. That's not the same. PC is not the same as a router. But the way the pinouts, the way the pinouts are on the PC and on the router, you need to have a crossover. Is there now uh, devices that you, with a click of a button, it creates a crossover straight through? Of course there is, all right? But if you need to make a crossover cable for whatever reason, and people had to have, uh, in the field, had to create crossover cables, they had to. Small crossword cables, not long, but they have to create it. So you need to learn these two standards that we use for cabling. That one's a straight through and one is a crossover. The last type of cable that you need to be aware of, because you may need to use it, will be your rolled. Because you'll probably be asked this question also. Is your rolled cable, and I'll bring it, can, let me see if I can bring this a little bit higher for you. There is right there, which is a B standard and then the B standard completely reversed, mirrored to each other. So on one side you have the regular 568B, and on the other side you take the same 568B and just boop, flip it over. And you create a what? A roll cable. And what in the world is a roll cable? The way you connect to a switch or to a router is if it's not configured, zero configurations on the switch zero configurations on the router. The only way you can get in is through the use of a console cable, right? That you, when you purchase these devices, they come with, which you connect to your either USB, you have a USB to serial, right? And you plug it into your USB and then you connect it to your console port of your router or switch. Uh, used to be you can plug in directly to your serial port. A lot of laptops don't have serial ports and even you know, some PCs don't even have serial ports. But in any case, you connect to the serial port. A roll cable, we would be using twisted pair cabling. So either end would have the RJ45 connector. So that means you will need an adapter, which is called a terminal adapter, that on one side is a for, to connect to a serial port. And on the other side, it has the RJ45 where, uh, uh, slot, if you will, where you will connect your, your cable to. And then you connect then to the console port of your switch or router. So that's what a rolled cable is. We have, I have created rolled cables uh, in the colleges that I used to teach. We'll run them and have actually multiple runs. So we have a centralized cabling where, remember when I showed you different internetworking devices? Uh, that you would actually have uh, an extra run for your roll cable, but that's not a reality of it. You're going to configure your routers uh, locally, and then once you have an IP address on your router, you will Telnet or SSH into the router. Uh, normally Telnet, unless you want to configure SSH, and the majority of routers already come pre-configured anyway when you purchase them. You can tell me, listen, uh, you can either give them configurations or they'll give you some default configuration just like a Linksys. Then you plug it in, boom, and you can tell them that into the router and then do whatever it is that you need to do. But normally you wouldn't really create a roll cable. My God, that would be, I guess, a case of an emergency if you had no console cable to do it. Because remember, usually your routers, where are they? If you are, if you are using routers, 
I mean, Cisco routers. You have a telecommunications closet. It's sitting in a rack. You have a connection to it somehow. Either if you actually have to walk into a telecommunications closet, if you, you probably have a console cable and you console in, that will be the, the way you would do it. But know, know that you can create something similar to a console cable by using the twisted pair cabling and creating what's called a roll cable that acts, acts as a console cable by doing the 568B standard on one side and mirrored to the other. So these are the three cables actually that you need to be aware of for your examination. All right, for your examination. That's it. That's it. Know the color code, know the standards, and you'll be just fine. And know what devices go connected to what devices. And as we go through the course, I mean, go through the labs, and you see we start connecting devices together, you'll start understanding, okay, crossover from switch to switch, straight through from PC to router, I mean, uh, from, straight through from PC to switch, and so forth. And remember, the, the packet tracer is something that was meant for the CCNA. So the connections that we'll be making will be the connections that you will see on your exam and that you'll need to know on your exam. And we'll still explain, hey, this is this type of cable and that type of cable. All right, so again, these are your standards, 568A, 568B, similar, 8A on one. If you have both standards, the same on both sides, create a straight through, different on, on either side, that's a crossover. And then we have the 568B and mirrored, that creates the roll cable. Those are your cables. All right, that will be it. I'll see you in the next one.